In November 2016, Audi's performance division decided to change its name from Quadro GmbH to Audi Sport. We wondered why, but this Audi R8 V10 RWS is among the possible reasons, as the performance division's latest model is not a Quattro. You might guess from the name that it is rear wheel steering, but RWS supposedly means rear wheel series, suggesting we might see other high performance Audis that send torque only to their rear wheels. Otherwise, this would be a series of one. Regardless, this is certainly the most purest oriented second generation R8. Planned for a run of just 999 units, it packs 540 horsepower. That power, which matches that of the base R8 V10 Quattro but is shy of the 610 horsepower of the R8 V10 Plus, is churned out by the awesome, naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V10. No all-wheel drive means both less weight and less mechanical drag in the powertrain. Compared with the regular all-wheel drive R8, its curb weight is down by 110 pounds to 3,505 pounds, according to RD, while the company's claimed weight for the Spider version is 3,704 pounds, down 88 from the Quattro model. On our scales, the current generation all-wheel drive R8 Coupe most recently weighed in at 3,684 pounds, the Spider weighed 3,920 pounds. Visually, the R8 RWS is signified by a matte black grille, matte black front and rear airflow openings, and a gloss black upper side blade on the coupe. A red vinyl trim stripe that switches from the front left to the right rear is optional on the coupe. Sports seats are standard, as are black 19-inch wheels wrapped in 35 series rubber. Audi says the sprint to 62 miles per hour takes 3.7 seconds, 3.8 in the Spider, and top speed is claimed to be 199 miles per hour on the Coupe and 198 miles per hour on the Spider. That acceleration time lags behind Audi's claims for the Quattro equipped R8 by 0.2 second in both cases, top speed is unchanged. As awesome as this RWS version is, we think there's still room for improvement, at least from a purist's point of view. Audi easily could shave off another £50 or so by swapping out the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and replacing it with the delightful and beautiful gated 6-speed manual that was available on the last generation R8. If Porsche got the hint about what purists want with the 911 GT3, surely Audi could do the same here. That quibble aside, we suspect the 999 cars will sell out quickly, not least of all because they will be less expensive than an R8 V10 Quattro, by about $31,000 in Germany. An Audi spokesperson says small quantities will come to the United States in 2018, although U.S. pricing is currently unavailable.